Welcome, in front of me is a Huawei P30 Lite and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that I can do on this device. So starting off we're gonna go into an option that is present basically on all Android devices uh, of the Android 10. Uh, so it's the rotation lock and what I mean by that is um, when you have disabled the auto rotate so for instance when you go into uh, Chrome as an example and you flip over the device it won't rotate but it gives you this option right here so you can tap on it and it will quickly rotate uh, the display and it will be locked in this mode on and only in this app so if you leave it will go back to normal and also if you're in here you flip it over lock it and then you want to go back if you flip it again other way the button appears right once more so I'm showing this as a first option because the second thing I wanted to show is the gesture navigation which unfortunately basically renders this option useless and uh, it works I mean makes this useless on basically every uh, Huawei Android I mean device so um, I'm also using a Huawei but a different one I'm using the old mate uh, pro 20 what was it um, and because I was using the gestures I didn't even know that this option was uh, on there I thought that they're completely disabled but they just made it um, useless in a way so if you want to use gesture navigations and this uh, Huawei was so nice that they completely removed it for gesture navigation even though it works on every other device in gesture mode so yeah so that's a, a little bit of a bummer um, but going back to it because I'm kind of uh, going off topic here um, the next thing would be the gesture navigation and to get it enabled you would go into the system and then system navigation and you have the gestures right here now one thing that I have to say the gesture navigation on the Huawei devices personally to me I really like them so you have the side from uh, swipe from sides as you can see uh, either side to go uh, back so that will, that basically renders the back button then if you want to go home you simply swipe up like so and if you want to view recent I uh, just swipe and hold and it brings it up like so from where you can see all the recent so it's a really nice way of navigating I personally really like it just it really bugs me though that we don't have the uh, orientation uh, lock right there which there is no reason for it not to be there it normally Android supports it but Huawei decided to disable it which hmm. uh, so moving on we're gonna go into hiding um, or well, not hiding but uh, the notification panel so you can um, you can basically slide it uh, slide the notification panel using your fingerprint sensor if you like that kind of thing uh, now if I'm correct uh, there is no way of doing it that it can slide on the display itself um, I know that if you're using certain launchers, uh, launchers might support that, but the default uh, home screen of Huawei does not, so you can actually use just the fingerprint on the back to slide down on it and it will bring up the notification panel. So to get started, let's go into the security section, so where is it? Um, security and privacy, then fingerprint ID. And from here, uh, show notification panel right here. So now if we do it, you can see, you can slide it down and up. So as you can see, I'm not touching the display. I'm just sliding my finger on the fingerprint sensor on the back. And actually it works really well. Surprisingly, um, I had previously experienced the this option on like some, I guess, cheaper devices where it most of the time didn't work. You would have to be covering the entire sensor for it to be like oh you're trying to pull down the notification panel so I have to say that here it works really well not a hundred percent as you just seen I sometimes swipe like right now if you do it too quick um, it won't register it but yeah it works anyway uh, way better than what I am used to anyway then moving into another thing I'm gonna show just a simple way to hide the notch or in this case it's just a teardrop in a way uh, just this little thing uh, and by hiding it you won't really lose any of the display it will make the text that is right now dark to white and the background will be dark 
So to get this enabled, we're gonna go to the display section right here, and more display settings, notch, and you have it right here. So we have this one, the default. You can check this one on, and as you can see, it just makes the background black, uh, rounds the corners, and makes the text white, so you can actually still see it there. And that goes basically throughout the entire system. So any app you open now will have this kind of appearance. Certain apps before would go over um, and change, for instance, colors of the style of the notification there, but and now it's gonna be all black like this. So moving on, I'm gonna go into option that probably not very many people know really exists, uh, but it's a scrollable screenshot and it just allows you to do what it says it does. So as an example, let's open something that has a um, scrollable content, as you can see, uh, Chrome is a great example for this. And normally you capture a screenshot by just pressing power key and volume down or just pressing the screenshot button right here. So whichever one you choose, it doesn't really matter. Um, so you press it. And it gives you a little pop-up right now. So slide, now it only gave me one, but I think it was go down to, yep, there it is, to scrollable. So you slide it down to go to scrollable. And it will basically scroll down until you touch the screen or until it reaches the end as it just did. And here it gives you a preview of the screenshot that it has captured. So you can basically scroll through it. Um, now you don't really need to do anything, it's already saved so you can leave this and if you go into your gallery that will be in the screenshots folder and you can see this right here um, so that's the page that we have captured and you can zoom in on it and you can see that it captured basically everything so just a nice way if you want to capture a little bit more but the entire screen isn't enough so we can scroll down a little bit capture as much as you want and then tap on it whenever you want to uh, close it off and then uh, moving on to the last thing that I want to show is the uh, screen resolution. So by default, I think it's set to smart. Um, let's go into the display again and screen resolution. And yeah, it's set to smart. So this basically decides if the display resolution is either 1080p or some weird 810. Uh, okay. Um, so you can disable this and have it locked to a specific resolution. Now, changing the resolution doesn't really change much in terms of battery life. It might affect it a little bit, uh, but in terms of this kind of jump uh, from 810 to 1080p, it's not really that much. And overall, the battery gain is minuscule from it. So honestly, I would just disable the smart resolution and set it to full HD+. Uh, and have the best resolution you can um, without it jumping depending on your battery level. It's not like it's gonna save much uh, on the lower one. But yeah, so that was the last thing that I wanna show. And if you found any of those tweaks or tricks helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.